Yep, it's time for another review. This review will be the third of GSN's Ballyhooed Originals after Bible and Chefs. Tonight was the sneak preview of the Pyramid. They just couldn't wait till Monday. And it's based, of course, on the very popular game show from the 70s and 80s, hosted by Dick Clark and other lesser versions since then. Now, mostly with me and GSN Originals, there's been a love-hate relationship. Mostly hate. Because for every decent original they come up with, like Catch-21 or Newlywood Game, I guess for some of you, they can come up with stuff like Hidden Agenda, Instant Recall, uh, Improvaganza, and the Cherry on the Crap Sunday Love Triangle. So, as much as I look forward to seeing this version of Pyramid, I had to admit before the show I was skeptical that A, they would get it right, and B, even if they did get it right, GSN would support it to the degree they have with Bible and sh to a much lesser degree chefs. Well, I have to admit, for their revival of the pyramid, this is a very well done show. I will start off with the aesthetics. The set, very solid. It, you expect a computer generated board and all that, but the board looks pretty good. The set has that retro feeling while at the same time being more up to date. And now, of course, we get to the host, and the host of a show is always very important to me. I, a lot of shows can be made or broken by the host. The host is Mike Richards. A lot of you game show fans hate Mike Richards because of what he's done as executive producer of The Price is Right. Whatever it may be, he does wrong. I agree with some of him. I don't agree with all of them, but everybody has an opinion. His hosting in this first episode, very solid. He did what a, what the Pyramid host is supposed to do. He let the game be the star. He got in a clever quip or two. I like the joke about the Splenda and Equal in the second round. So I think Mike Richards did a very solid job. I think he'll be a fine host for the show. He didn't overdo it like John Davidson. So that I can give him credit for that. Now, the gameplay is very similar. In fact, it's pretty much the same as the 80s version. You get 7 out of 7 in 30 seconds. The only ma major difference is there's no bonus cards, but you do get $500 every time you get 7 out of 7, plus your potential jackpot in the winner's circle increases by 5000 So you start with a base of 10, and if you get all 7, you play for 25000 So you can win $50,000 in a show which for GSN is a remarkable sum of money for a lot of their shows and I I like this aesthetic change actually this ad this makes it very paramount to not screw up during the game and it makes it to where you don't have oh they got 7 out of 7 big deal it makes it very important to try and get 21 if you can and now and also, I like how they've managed to keep some the traditional sound effects in place, except for like the ding is a little bit different. But you got your classic buzzer, you got your you got the cuckoo, and you got the a remix of the classic '80s theme, which is very cool. Now, the thing that will make or break the show, obviously, are how the celebrities give and receive clues and how well they play. Tonight's episode features Chandra Wilson from Grey's Anatomy and Jay Rodriguez from Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. And I have to say, the gameplay was very solid. You'd expect some flaws in, during the game, but they were very, very good, considering it was one of the first episodes. And I give them credit. It wasn't... Like, you compare it to the Donny Osmond version, it felt really rushed. Like, six and twenty seconds you just you couldn't it was very hard to keep up with the gameplay not to mention in the Donny Osmond version the thing that really killed it was how strict they were in accepting certain answers and this one they were much more liberal not like Man of Steel for Superman liberal but they were m much more willing to accept part partial answers I guess you could say and I like that at least they went back to just the essence of the answer, not this crap that you have to say it exactly as it's written on the card. 
that pretty much killed any interest that was in the Donny Osmond version. So, based on tonight's preview, I have to say that the Pyramid is probably the GSN original I've enjoyed the most in quite a long time, maybe since the original Chuck Woolery lingo. It is very well done. It retains the old school feel. 7 out of 7 and 30 seconds. 21s are what you want. Winner's Circle, you don't have to have the scary computerized boards rise up to create drama. I really like that they made it retro feeling and they modernized it enough to please the viewer that may not have watched the original old school pyramid. I give that I cannot recommend it more if you really like an old school feeling game show. Please watch this show. It deserves to get a good audience and should get a second season by far. Well done GSN. Hopefully you can continue with the string of luck you've had.